Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Tiffany from Tiffy Butter. Today I have a very exciting video to share with you all. Today I'm going to share with you what's in my travel bag. So I usually bring this bag with me when I go to a park with my husband or when I know I'm going to spend a couple hours at a certain place. This is huge and this is heavy. Basically, whenever I go out, um, my husband and I are going to drive a car. So the size or the weight, those are not something that I would concern. So basically, that's why I bought a big bag and I put like chunk of stuff in here and I don't really care how heavy it is. I'm so sorry with the lighting. <laughs> the sun is coming out, it's pretty early. Uh, so I don't really care about the weight, I don't really care about the size because we always drive a car, we always go out and spend a couple hours and come back home. That's why I want to stuff my bag as much as possible. I want to bring everything that I need in this bag. Um, so if you usually go out lightweight or if you usually go out with like minimalist items or things like that, this video is not for you, I'm pretty sure. Because this one, it has like tons of stuff in here. That's why I'm so excited to share with y'all. So yeah, let's jump right into it. Um, this is a Maywell Transport tall medium um, this one is the camel color or I don't I forgot how they call it but it's a camel color or they call it brown or something I saw the video from Michelle from seaweed kisses and her olive edition is so 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 beautiful I really wanted to buy that one but I'm not just not I'm not so sure um, how does the olive look on me the olive color look on me so I would just I went with the normal I went with the brown one and I just love it so I'm going to oh, it's really a weird angle so first is pretty um, the design is super minimalist you have a big pocket at the front usually is where I put my cell phone and inside you have a little bag in here like a zipper bag um, usually I just draw some cars or some snack and things like that but usually this is it um, so let's jump right into it let me just put this back aside in here I hope it's the lighting is not too bad First of all, I have a mason jar. <laughs> yes, I bring my mason jar with me every single day. Not every single day, whenever I go out. And I put a little um, cloth in here. This one, I think the shop owner call it magical cloth, but I'm pretty sure it's a little um, fabric cube. And you, if you soak it with water, it will just, um, it will just getting uh, softer and yeah eventually it was just like a cloth so you can dab your brush clean your brush or you can uh, remove extra waters or paint in this cloth is pretty convenient and useful and this is my mason jar this is a small one I have two big ones at home I usually bring this small one with me and now you might question me again uh, why you bring a mason jar with you all the time it's super heavy and and it's super huge whatsoever I love my mason jar <laughs> I know there is a lot of um, plastic foldable uh, cups in the market but I just love my mason jar so yeah <laughs> I just bring it with me and then of course I have my Travelers Notebook. This is the Olive Edition and I actually did a flip through um, a while ago. I mean that my previous video is a flip through. I will link it here or link it in the link down below. Thank you so much for all the positive comments and likes and and yeah I, I I'm just super grateful. I will do a give a giveaway very very soon. Please stay tuned and Anyway, this is my uh, Travelers Notebook. I will film another catch-up video later, probably next week or so. But um, I don't think I've finished the whole insert yet, but it's getting there, I, I am sure. I basically draw every single day. So this insert is like, I can finish it. I can finish this insert within two months. But yeah, that's... Um, 
as it looks like but anyway i will do a ketchup video later so i can give you a better look of my um of my chocolate notebook i am so sorry about the lighting but i kind of like the sun i don't wanna <laughs> i don't wanna uh, close my blind or something but yeah anyway this is my travelers notebook i usually do my watercolors in that book and in my and then i have a cardboard just a regular cardboard so i can put my watercolors um on top of this, of this cardboard sometimes i clipped in sometimes i use the um, watercolor tape i don't know is the removable removable tape so you can it can just kind of give you a clean frame of the painting so i usually just use a clip a small clip to clip uh, these two together so that's that this is some handmade watercolor paper that i'm currently using and i'm in love with it so next time when i use it all um, next time when i buy the new pad i will share more detailed information because i totally forgot what brand it is but it's super super good i love it so much okay the next thing is a water bottle yes i have water bottle with me uh, when i go out of course i need waters yeah i love it this is the japanese uh, spring edition from starbucks i love it so much anyway um let's put it aside and of course i have my um the superior labor pen roll and I tuck in my brushes in here usually I would just bring this three with me I don't tend to do a lot um, detail drawing when I go out because first time is limited and the second um, I just don't feel like to bring small brushes with me when I go out because sometimes I might damage it or something so usually I would just bring uh, like larger size brushes so this one is the Da Vinci number no. four, and this two is from Silver Black Velvet. Um, this one is number eight, and this one is number twelve. Anyway, and in my pen roll, this is my pen roll. This is the Superior Labor. Uh, I am sure a lot of people have seen it. I will link it down below where I got it. I love it so much. It comes with four colors um tan black dark brown and i've got the camo or light brown color so i have all my pens in here um, i mostly uh, use pen and this one is the fine liner is from fabric castell this one is a brush pen from zebra i got it off um, daiso and i have three micron fine liner and those are my fountain pens those three are from sailor i love it so much i sailor is my favorite fountain pen brand <laughs> and this one i recently got it from uh, wonder pen as well i love it so much i also i will link all the information down below and um, those two are from twisty and these two are from Calico, the Germany brand. I don't know how to pronounce it, but yeah, I have those uh, Phantom pen with me or liner uh, pen or brush pen with me. Those are the pens that I use the most and I can't go out without it or I can I cannot live without them. Um, they're my favorite babies. Um, so I took them all in in my pen roll and then last but not least i have my daphonic and as you can see it's empty right now i put most of my craft items in here so let's talk about the outside pockets it has tons of pockets but um, apparently i don't use them all so in this small pocket i have a i know i have something so i have a washi tape and I usually bring two watercolor, uh, watercolor palette with me. So those are the two watercolor palette. This one is the Shiminka. This one is the assorted watercolor palette. 
you guys know I just got my Shuminka and I love it so much. I love the color so much. So it comes with 12 colors and I added these two uh, Winsor & Newton colors in here because these two are my favorite Winsor & Newton colors. And this one is the assorted watercolor palettes. I have Winsor & Newton, um, Red Wood Willow and I also have White Nights in here. So yeah, two watercolor palettes. And then on the other side, I have, so this is the pin that I recently got. It's just so lovely. It's the kind of like a, a watercolor botanical um, moon, kind of like all different kinds kind of things and collage all together. It's just so cool. Anyway, I have a clip, um, just, you know, clip things down and then I have a eraser this one is from the fabric castel and then I have a um, this is the acrylic block for stamping and I have oops I have some tea bags and a hand cream in here so this tea bag actually is from a Rowena from Sojourner thank you so much I will definitely try it out soon so um, let's get into what's inside the pouch. So first of all, I have a stamps. This one is from Memento. Um, this is the rich cocoa color. And then I have some class key labels. You know, you know me. Um, I use a lot <laughs> labels in my chocolate notebook. And then I have. Um, another class key label, papers or tags or cards. And then this is the class key adjust label, but I just use it to decorate in my Travelers notebook. And I do have some tape. This one is what I mentioned uh, at the beginning. So this is the watercolor tape. Um, it just gives you a, a clean, clear border of the painting. So you can just sim uh, simply tape it down. And this is the double-sided tape. So what else I have in here? I have a book. Um, this book actually comes with this leather um, notebook, I, uh, which uh, uh, this leather cover, which I will show you in a minute. So this is uh, an A5 size notebook. I, I'm thinking to use it to jot down some ideas and uh, quick sketches, practice, and or uh, uh, color swatch and things like that before I actually color my painting. I would like to do it here. So that's what I am going to use with this notebook. And I have a set of stamps. This one, I love it so much, especially it has the few note stamps in here. And because I go out, um, I bring this pouch with me when I go out. So few notes, this label, um, this stamp is so important. I love this one so much. And it also has this kind of like a library card format stamps and it has to-do lists, some blank lines, and this one is the for the records and you have information documented, recorded, captured, photographed, um, for internal records only, important general information. is super functional and it's so simple. I love this design so much. I got it off Studio Calico, but I'm not sure if they still carry this on their website. Um, so this is the last, oh, I have my glue stick in here. So this is the last thing that I have in this pouch. This is the, sorry, upside down. This is the Sojourner um, A5 leather cover notebook. And inside I have my, um, Hobonichi Kassen in 2018 starts from April the 1st and this is the Sojourner. Did I mention that? And the leather is Yao. I love it so much. I mean from the camera you couldn't, you can't see the real color but in person it's a really dark red. I love it so much and it's so soft. I couldn't wait until um, I couldn't wait until April to use this notebook. I already journaled a little bit, but I don't want to share with you all. But anyway, I journaled a little bit and I love this notebook so, so, so much. 
so basically I have two notebooks I have my travelers notebook and this notebook with me this one basically I just journal and I write things in here and my travelers notebook basically I use it to um, document what I see, what I think. I do all the water watercolor practice and watercolor painting in my Travis notebook. And some stamping, pen rolls, um, bottles and mason jars and papers and paint. That's basically everything that I need when I go out. Some of you think, this is so much. This is too much. But for me, I rather to have things handy. I have to get it when I need it. So. I am kind of like a paranoid person. Um, I just have to get everything ready when I go out. And I've mentioned at the beginning, uh, we always driving. So that's why weight or the weight or um, the size of the bag is not a, the main f matter to, to change my mind of how much I carry every single day. Oh, not every single day because this is my, not my work bag. This is my sketch bag. So yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, um, thank you so much for stopping by and just have a great day. Today is sunny. The sun finally comes out in Vancouver. I'm so ready to go to the park again. So I will use all this stuff again. Um, so ah, yeah, anyway, um, thank you so much for stopping by. I will see you in my next video soon. Bye-bye.